Legend tells of a man who once set out to write a universal history of the destruction of books, which he, not without some truth to his argument, he took them to be the receptacle of all human beauty and good. After many long years of righteousness and follow through of his holy task, and seeing that his goal was still far from finished, for such is the extent of the destruction of holy things, the Lord came to him in a dream and said, Loyal servant, you have served me all my days. shall release you from your task, for you have done more than any man before you to rebuild my lost temples, to unearth the foundations of purity, and give a new birth to righteousness. And so I have come to call away now, back to the embrace of my warm heart. begged to be given the time to complete his task, that the Lord might but stay the hand of death for just a while. And the Lord responded, death does not deal in half measures, but only absolutes. If you would have this of me, know that the hand of death stayed once as the hand of death stayed forever. If you do not come to me now, you will never come to me. You will walk the earth forever, adding to your list of destruction, your testament of human error, and there shall be no respite for you, though you walk beneath a hundred thousand peaks set against a hundred thousand stars. And the man said to God, Here I am. You have my answer. So the Lord turned away the hand of death forever, that the scholar might pursue the addition to his index without ceasing. And one day, after many wanderings, our scholar came to the lost library of all human knowledge. Sand was pouring through the keyholes, and vultures had nested down in the tomes in which all was recorded of everything that would be and was no longer. And in, and in the innermost room of the innermost sanctum, at the end of the longest hall, clothed in shadow, was a single book, and in it a single sentence on a single page. And our scholar gasped as he fell to his knees and read the following 